Right, I've got myself a uh, a couple of 10 farad capacitors there that are both 2.5 volts each. I've hooked them up in uh, series, so I've got a 5 volt 10 farad capacitor bank, and uh, I've got a battery connection here, of which comes to about 5 volts ish. I think we've got. Uh, 5.13 volts across it at the moment. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that hooked up overnight to condition the uh, capacitors and then uh, what I can do afterwards is uh, take the batteries off it and then uh, sit them on the shelf for a, for a time and then uh, check the voltage on them to see if uh, it, they're holding their uh, charge correctly. So I've got my uh, controller circuit here for my uh, my coils, and uh, so what it is is a, it's basically a solar cell with a germanium diode that's going to go onto the charge side. Uh, across pin seven and eight, I've got a one k resistor, and then I've got a, a variable resistor there, the blue thing, so we can change the frequency. Now uh, the 555 timer I used was a TS. 555 and the capacitor I'm using is a 200 picofarad so we can go up to the nice high ranges and as you can see just as a unit there if we put it by the light you can see that the uh, the green light comes on and it starts pulsing at that frequency and uh, we can start using that then like uh, with the capacitors we've got here that I've been uh, charging up to 5.3 well, 13 volts and I'm going to just conditioning them uh, just leaving it on that voltage for quite a while and I'm going to uh, take the voltage off and then hopefully it reads the same voltage the next day and then uh, we can hook them straight up into this circuit to uh, to power it, so I've, I've worked it all out, and uh, as long as it stays in the sun for X amount of time, it can run 24 hours a day, and then uh, we can get a battery to uh, do the actual uh, power side of the coil. Right, I've disconnected the uh, solar panel for the time being, and I just wanted to show you uh, where the square wave comes in to get making the resonance. So what I've done is the uh, the pin out, so uh, pin three come straight out and into my bottle here and then out of the bottom into another probe so uh, if we have a look at on the scope now you'll be able to see oh, let's get my arm away from the bottle that uh, the square wave is punching it up and then punching it down through the resonance now uh, the one which is a sine wave is uh, ten times on the uh, so we've got this probe which is uh, on ten times and we're taking up six squares at two volts per division and the other one is just on uh, normal which we're getting uh, one volt per division now uh, if I just get my screwdriver here oh, if I it, and start adjusting this you better see when it goes in and out of resonance if I turn it one way you can see it's starting to pop out and if I turn it the other way again you can see it pops out completely so if you turn it back and get it full in You'll see the resonance happens in, in exactly the middle of the square wave. I thought this might be uh, interesting for people to see. That's great then, and uh, thanks for watching.